We're making pumpkin juice on Harry Potter today. Wait, no, Harry Drink. This is a show called Harry Drunk. How don't hear him. I haven't had a drop and I'm like blommed. Today we are gonna make. Today we're gonna make. Yeah, I'll try that again. He's an artist. Today we're gonna make pumpkin juice. Like they serve at the theme parks. And also like the the kids in the books drank. And then we're gonna pretend that the one of them grew up and became a mixologist and made a cocktail that uh, kind of captures the flavors of pumpkin juice from their youth, nostalgically. It's very meta. It's, it's ultra meta. It's like, yeah, you, it's like, it was, it was, there's gotta be wizard bartenders. There are wizard bartenders. We see them in that movie with the guy that everybody says I look like. No, I'm the only one like me. I don't look like that guy. <laughs> I mean, I guess I look like that guy. First thing you will need to make pumpkin juice is some puree of pumpkin. Now, we're shooting this in the middle of the summer, so you can't get pumpkins. But what would I do if I had that pumpkin? Well, I would bake it, uh, scoop it out, and puree it, and then I would add liquid to it, let that seep, and then I would drain that liquid. Um, that bake, scoop, and puree bit can be done for us if we buy puree pumpkin. Ignore the dog on there and the dog food bowl. This isn't dog food, although it is available apparently exclusively in the dog food aisle. Uh, I did make sure to buy one that says uh, ingredients, pumpkin. So there's nothing in here but pumpkin. There was one uh, that was like other stuff with the pumpkin. I did not buy that, don't buy that. Yeah, it's just, it just says dog food on the label. It's not dog food. I mean, and dog food is food. If you wanted to eat dog food, you could. All right, so we're gonna need actual pumpkin juice and I've already done that. So what I did here was I took a can of my puree of pumpkin, I scooped it out into my stove, I added another can's worth of water to that, mixed it up, heated it up to like a low boil, let it cool off, steep, and then I poured the whole thing through a cheesecloth, uh, drained off the liquid, and that's what we got, juice of pumpkin. Um, smells like a pumpkin, doesn't taste like much, to be honest, it's just kind of bitter. Um, not bitter, but you know, not great, it's just, just whatever. If you look at this actual official theme park, Harry Potter pumpkin juice, what is it? It's, uh, well, it's only 81% juice, and the first ingredient is water, and then apple juice, concentrate, and then pumpkin puree, and then apricot puree, and then sugar, natural acid, artificial flavor, citric acid, uh, acylfame, potassium, and sodium benzoate. I couldn't get the acylfame, potassium, or sodium benzoate, so we're gonna skip those. Um, and actually, I bet my recipe is gonna have a lot more pumpkin in it than the Harry Potter recipe. Um, and I've done this, I had another bottle to, to compare with and I went back and forth and I've tested it and they tasted dag nabbity near identical. For our pumpkin juice clone. I'm gonna shake it, but you can mix this up in anything. Um, there's no reason you need to make it in a shaker. I just happen to be doing it that way because it's a ringing, it rings like a bell. It's the it's a customer, we've got a customer. You could shake it, you don't have to shake it. I mean, whatever, I'm shaking it because these are the tools I use. I'm using a shaker. We're gonna do four ounces of pumpkin juice. And by pumpkin juice, I mean juiced pumpkin. I don't mean pumpkin juice, the beverage. It's very complicated, this whole thing. Uh, we need an ounce and a half of apricot juice. Now, first off, you could juice apricots. Uh, boy, is it tough to get fresh apricots all year round. So you're probably gonna buy supermarket you know, a juice or puree or a nectar of apricot. All of these are gonna be a little bit different. Most of them will have some apple juice as a component, in which is one of the reasons why we can eschew any apple juice in this recipe. So we don't need to worry about it. Uh, adding apple juice. Most of your apricot juices are going to carry that with them. Now, if you happen to have access to fresh apricots and a juicer and you wanna juice them, you might need to adjust this recipe to include a little bit of apple juice, but you might not too, and, um, I don't have a great answer for you there. And I said we want one and a half ounces, and I meant it, one and a half ounces of apricot juice. So I need a couple dashes of vanilla extract. That's about a quarter teaspoon. We're gonna add an ounce and a half of cinnamon syrup, which sounds like an awful lot, but remember this is a theme park treat, so it's not joking around. All this is is um, simple syrup that I made with cinnamon. It's a simple thing. I'll put the recipe up on screen, but it's not hard to make. A quarter teaspoon of uh, ground cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of ground allspice. 
The other ingredient you'll need, which you may not already have in your kitchen, is some citric acid. It's great to have for a lot of things like cleaning the dishwasher, or also in a lot of cooking. Canning, I think you it gets involved if you're into that kind of thing. And it's readily available at the grocery store or online. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna have a link right below to buy the exact same citric acid that I'm using here. If you're um, freaked out about putting something called citric acid into your drink, uh, just be advised that this is the exact same stuff that's on the outside of uh, Sour Patch Kids. That's all it is. I'm gonna shake this over ice, because I like it a little bit cold. A cold pumpa cana juice. That's a weird thing to say. I'm gonna put this over ice. One big, one small. I got one gigantic cube in here, so I'm gonna kinda, but I, I want all the crushed ice, so I'm gonna kinda half a, kind of an open pour. I think it's great. It's like perfect. I've got my theme park Harry Potter juice here. Let's give this stuff a taste. Apple cinnamon, pumpkin pie, spice kind of thing. Yeah. One more go. Oh, yeah, definitely. If anything, mine tastes more pumpkin-y. This tastes more... And maybe maybe you could go sweeter, honestly. I think mine's a little bit more pumpkin au naturel. This is a little bit more pumpkin chai latte. So, and you can adjust that to your taste. All right, so that's our theme park pumpkin juice clone. Let's say um, you're an adult wizard and you are nostalgic for the pumpkin juice of your youth. You wanna mix up a cocktail that evokes that flavor. Uh, I think we've got it right here. I never named this sucker. We need a name for this thing. Greg's like whiz bang, drink drank, pumpkin splosh. Yeah, we'll come up with a name for this thing later. All right, so we want one ounce of our juiced pumpkin. Not to be confused with our pumpkin juice. And I want one ounce of cinnamon syrup. And a quarter ounce of allspice dram. Uh, St. Elizabeth is the one to use. Uh, and I want two ounces of Applejack. Uh, go with Laird's Bottled and Bond if you can get it. Although this is Applejack, it says straight apple brandy on there. That's what you want. It's, there's um, no neutral grain spirits. It's all Applejack. If you're in Europe or something like that and you can't get this, Calvados would be a similar spirit. Two ounces. Okay, I want to put some ice in here. this in this sour glass from Rydell. If you want to get these glasses yourself, they are for sale in a pinned comment below. All right, here we go. It's a pretty autumny drink, so let that be your guide when garnishing it. You can really kind of do whatever you want. I think um, a bit of fresh nutmeg and Not the grater. That's a pretty good grater. Thanks, Barfly. And maybe a cinnamon stick. Why not? is a nice way to go with this. Okay, here we go. It's got a nice froth on the top. I think that's from the pumpkin, that's wonderful. Really cool, like white foamy head here. Here it is, uh, the juice that shall not be named. That is so delightful. <laughs> oh yeah, that is good. Mmm, yeah. It is definitely, oh my God, that's so good, <laughs> so good. It is exactly um, in the same vein of this, right? It's sharing so many of the same, and this, it's sharing so many of the same elements um, as this. Uh, it, I, it, it, very much so, those baking spices, that pumpkin spice, that lot, that, that Starbucks pumpkin chai spice latte, whatever. Um, that cinnamon and the, the allspice dram and the nutmeg, um, super duper awesome together. 
The uh, uh, pumpkin kind of holds it all together. It is a little bit uh, in the background, but to be perfectly honest, the flavor of quote pumpkin in you know native pumpkin does not taste like what we associate pumpkin to taste like. It doesn't taste like pumpkin pie. It doesn't taste like a pumpkin spice latte. Um, it doesn't smell great. It smells like a gourd. And it just kind of tastes like slightly tart or bitter water, to be honest. Um, there's just not much to it. It really, it certainly isn't sweet. And most of the, all the pumpkin-y stuff you can imagine are always very sweetened. So if it wasn't a Harry Potter drink, we would probably just call this like a pumpkin something, a pumpkin latte apple teeny. It's very autumnal. It's extremely autumnal flavors. It is warm. It is a wonderful drink. I'm super thrilled with the way this came out. I think that there could be a hot version of this. I haven't tried it yet, to be honest. How would I do that? I would mix all of my ingredients in the shaker, maybe dry shake them, pour them into a toddy cup, no ice, and then I would add like a half total volume in hot water. It should make for a pretty nice toddy. So if it's two ounces, of it, you know. Instead of shaking over ice, just add like three and a half to four ounces of hot water to this. That would make this into a hot toddy kind of beverage. It didn't occur to me to do that until just now. Uh, and the reason it didn't is because, you know, this comes in a plastic bo bottle. You're not gonna, you're not gonna, there's no implication here that you're supposed to drink this hot. I don't think in the books they ever drink pumpkin juice hot either. Now pumpkin juice, of course, in the books is decidedly non-alcoholic. And of course we have a decidedly non-alcoholic uh, theme park pumpkin juice clone right here. But like I said, if the, you know, Every young wizard grows into a grown-up wizard. Wicked. Oh, you get that, that Applejack is just so perfectly accentuated by the spices that we put together in here and the pumpkin. This is one of my favorite Applejack cocktails I've ever come up with, to be honest. I'm not it's delicious pumpkin spicy latte cocktail. I'm like, this is weird. This is really seductive. What am I doing? Why am I doing it? I just started doing this and now I can't stop. Do you come here often? All of my barware is provided courtesy of Barfly. If you want to use any of the tools I use in the show, there's a link right down in the comments that you can check out. And if you like any of the glassware I'm using, that's available down there too. It's all provided by, uh, it's all purchased from Rydell. They didn't provide me with anything. There's a difference. Uh, so that's how to drink, so I make cocktails and how to drink them. I'm on Twitter on how to drink. I'm on Instagram and how to drink. I'm on Patreon at patreon.com slash how to drink. Haggard seems like a fun guy. I'd like to hang out with Haggard. He's also big. And Odo, the hero, they bore him back home to the place he had known as a lad. They laid him to rest with his hat inside out and his wand broken half, which was sad. <laughs> Odo. Down a little <coughs> square. It's a great drink, but it just stacked me. Ah, <coughs> 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 <sighs> 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 <sighs>